Welcome to another episode of what's going on at ABC Quality Fencing, or we can also call it the A to Z Fence Supplies Contractor Series. One of the things that we, we focus on here at A to Z is, is trying to stay positive. When things go wrong, we want to find the positive out of it. Well, something did go wrong this week, didn't it? Okay. We went down to Indiana with our machine to give it a, uh, a, test, a test ride to teach another company down in, in uh, um, Indianapolis, around the Indianapolis area. Um, how to use the machine and see if they're interested. We did some other training with them. Um, great guys down there. Well, on the way down, we stopped and thought we'd do a good deed and drop a case of uh, spotted cow off at a, another fence contractor we know that's in Indianapolis. So we get off the highway and all of a sudden we go under a bridge and uh, uh, we just a little quick little boom and boom. And we actually snapped the top of this off hitting the bridge. Not good, okay? Now the machine is made highway ready. We could be up to 13 foot tall with it. We're not 13 foot tall with it. We were 10 foot six. The bridge we hit was actually 10 foot three. Rarely are we gonna come into them, but we said, what can we get positive out of it? What can we do to solve this issue? Good news is nobody got hurt. We didn't do that much damage. We did clip off the top of the mast. We have we have Derek here and we, and we have Anthony Say hi, Anthony. Get Anthony in this. Turn around. Turn around. Hi. Three of us spent this morning figuring out how we were going to prevent that from happening again um, and how we we're going to make the machine better. I think we certainly made the machine better. And, and this, it actually solved other problems once we figure out how to solve this problem. So the mass was before, this would be up and it was completely stationary. There wasn't no up and down. One of the issues we actually had with it was we want to pound taller pipe. You know, we, we want to go up to 13 foot tall with pipe on this pile of uh, pound, 13 foot tall pipe. Well, obviously, by the time you hang your pounder on here and that nut, we would have been well over the highway laws of 13. So, so we were working on some other, some other options on that, and we're still working on those other options. But when this happened, we knew we had to do something different. Okay, so we came up with being able to drop this mast up and down, which, which would Travel wise, it would look like this. You're never going to have an op and a issue with hitting the, the bridge. Derek's going to show you how to get this mat masked up because what this is a one man operation. I don't want to have two guys that have to heave this thing up. It's pretty heavy with all this stuff on there. Okay, so Derek, show us how this mask works now. He, this is this would be like you pull up to a, a job and he's ready. He got out of the truck and he's ready to get ready to roll. So he's going to show you what it takes to put this up. So after you get it off the truck like this. You're gonna wanna loosen up, get you some uh, slack. You can always squeeze out a little more slack than you need rather than trying to fight the slack. Yeah. Important part here to remember when you're bringing your, your winch in and out, this cable in and out, is that you keep steady pressure on it. If you let this thing go, you're gonna have a rat's nest in here, and that's not fun to get undone. So going in and out, you wanna keep steady pressure on your cable. All right, then what you'll do is you'll come pull your pin, We'll just extend this out. Can you find your hole? Put the pin in. Now you're ready to pick it up. So there's two, there's two movements here. One is moving, moving the mast out further that direction, and the other is actually moving it up this direction so you get more height on. Let out a little more slack so we can adjust this one. So basically, same scenario, pull your pin. This one you're just going to go give a little more slack. Alright, now when you have everything set to your max height, now you're ready to pick it up. So just keep your slack on here. The door. All right, now when you have it all the way up, you grab a washer and a lock washer and a nut, just tighten them up on each side, and that'll securely fasten it up.
All right, so when you're ready to pick up the pounder, you have two ways you can do it. You can leave everything collapsed, so it kind of picks it more straight up. If you have everything extended, you will have to push the top part of the pounder over a little bit, just so it comes up off the plate. Pounder off and swing around. Pounder wherever you need to pound. Yeah, you can pound, swing this around any way. It's not this, you don't have to swing from one side to the other. It's probably easiest to swing uh, pound from that side. Number one, your hydraulics turn on and on, off over here. So this is probably the best side to pound. But if you're in a pinch, you could pound on the other side. This also gives you more room. Um, so that's really what well, uh, what it is, okay? We do have, uh, we, we will have these cables, these um, hydraulic hoses up out of the way more. This was a quick fix that we got done. We got this done and we haven't, we got some minor things to still do to this. We got to wrap all the electrical on it. We got to make a box over here, over the top of the converter so that it doesn't get wet. And then we got to handle the cable. But, all right, Derek, put it back together. All right, I'll show you how the process works in reverse. Basically, you grab your pounder, as you're done pounding for the day, we'll just make sure your wires don't get found up here. Now you're gonna put it in and just put it down. And then you'll take your hook back around this side. Keep pressure on it always so you don't wind that up. When I put it on here, we're just going to pressure it back up. So now, what you want to do is put your pin back in. So now when you have it all to this point, come grab your drill again. You're going to take out your bolt. Right, then when you get them out, you want to give it a little bit of a push to start it. And then you start releasing it. When you have it down all the way, I'd give it a little bit of slack. So now we're gonna retract all these. So we pull this pin. And then when you got that one done, now you're gonna pull this pin. All right, now you can see how much slack you got here. You're gonna to wanna to pull this tight, but you don't wanna wind that up and have to redo it all the time. Notice Derek is wearing gloves doing that, and that's the reason why. Yeah, you don't wanna get a wire in the hand or anything, that hurts. <laughs> and there you have it. Okay, so, so this, the way that the sheet is set up now, with this length of, of pipe in the middle up here, we can do 10 foot tall posts, okay? By adding the hinge on the, the boom, so we the mass, so we can put it up and down, we can now, one guy can safely and easily change this to a longer one. We intended for this machine to do up to 13 foot long posts. We can now do that pretty easily just by changing the um, pipe, the mass in the center here. And one guy can easily take this off, put that in there, pop it up, and, and use it, okay? You see we have a four by six here now, that's not gonna be there, okay? We're actually building a cage over the top of this, a rack over the top of this, this here. And if you remember our other video shows the pipe sitting in here, the pipe's still gonna sit in there, that's where you want the pipe. But if it creates wasted space under here, so we're actually putting a toolbox in here. So by building that rack here, we'll be able to open this, this at any point, and you'll have your basic tools and all the stuff you need right inside of here to pound posts. So every day we're looking at this, thinking about this, we're gonna continue to make it better and better. Um, we do have a, another unit that we are working on that also be, be coming out on the market. Um, and pretty neat things here that we're doing at A to Z Fencing. Um, like I said, we started the, the video off with talking about, you know, staying, staying uh, um, positive when bad things happen, find the good things out of it. We found a lot of good things out about our piece of equipment with something bad happening. Um, so ask yourself every day what was positive going on in your life today. Um, and if you like the videos, um, hit like, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, send them to your buddies. Thank you. See you on the next uh, uh, contractor series of A to Z quality fencing and A to Z fence supplies.